everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have an insectoid set. Set 6969, the Celestial Stinger from 1998. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. <laughs> So here we have the completed build, and I am super excited about the set. This is my first time ever building it. This is one of the sets that came in the bulk lot purchase I had just done, I think about two weeks ago. So I have been pulling sets, my floors have been covered in Lego. I was lucky enough that my mom helped me sort that lot by color and so that has made it drastically easier to pull sets and for the most part the sets have been missing I'd say between one and three pieces each one that I've pulled but this one was actually a hundred percent complete and I think so far I've pulled about 14 sets and when I say 14 I'm not talking about 14 sets of this size, as amazing as that would be. I'd say four or five of them have been really tiny little sets. There's just been a real mix of late 90s, early 2000s sets. But this one I was super ecstatic about because I don't have any sets until now. I haven't had any sets from the Insectoid sub-theme. Space was not something there was a whole lot of when I was growing up. It was the Life on Mars sets. But other than that, there wasn't the cool like Spireus, Insectoids, UFO, you know, really very limited when I was growing up. So I'm super excited to have this set now. I do remember being on eBay was a big deal when I was a kid. I loved searching eBay. I was constantly on there. And one year for Christmas, I think when I was in middle school, I found a couple of tiny insectoid sets and I gave those to my brother for Christmas. But I had never gotten any, so now I'm so excited to finally have one and hopefully a couple by the time I finish pulling sets from this lot. So I'll show you the minifigures first. They're amazing. This is the insectoid's captain. There are two names listed for him, Captain Wiser and Captain Zek. And the parts for him are pretty rare. So the head, the torso, and the legs only come in this set and one other. So I'm gonna give you a close up of that without all of the armor on. And I am just obsessed with this era of space Lego. The 90s had all these amazing colors, especially for the heads. They got really interesting with translucent colored heads as well as solid different colors. So really excited about this guy. Very unique minifigure there. And then you get two of the Insectoids droids. So two of these, love the translucent clear 
helmet. This one's also listed as being called a Gigabot as well, which really just reminds me of Gigapets, anyone else who grew up during that era, if you remember those. And this minifigure comes in six different sets, so a little more common, but a really cool minifigure. Again, just absolutely love those helmets. All right, as for the main build itself, this thing is amazing. It is right around 250 pieces, and the color scheme is just fantastic. Really interesting, unique parts. But by far, my favorite part of this whole set is the front here. This is a light and sound piece, and I mentioned this in the video where I was going through this bulk lot that they had left the batteries in a couple of these. There were two of these included. One had the batteries in it, one did not. And then there was a battery box for a different set that also had a battery left in it. And usually when the batteries are left in, it destroys the device because this set is from 98. So, you know, we've got an extensive amount of time that the batteries were left in. But somehow I lucked out and neither of the batteries that were left in these devices were corroded. So they popped right out and it was totally clean. I think it was the one for this set that the battery actually had the expiration date on it, which was from 2003. So super excited. It does work. It looks amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. It does have three different buttons here that make different sounds and different light patterns. obsessed. So cool. I'm so ecstatic that both the light and the sound options still work. So really amazing. These translucent neon green pieces do come off. So one of them was not attached at the time and I was afraid it wasn't going to be in there, but it was. So love the, the use of the translucent neon green with the dark gray and the blue. All of those really nice contrasting colors just look amazing. It does also include three stickers, so these pieces each have a sticker applied to them, which gives it a little bit extra of a decorative element there. These leg pieces are amazing. These are really inexpensive. They come in two different sizes, one that is the larger size like this, and then there's a smaller version. So if you're ever wanting to create something kind of unique, definitely look into these pieces because they're very inexpensive and readily available. I also love the wings. I don't know for the larger wings if they're as cheap as the smaller ones, but the smaller ones are definitely inexpensive. So another piece that's very unique that if you're looking to make kind of an interesting mock, you might look into that. So the wings do extend out to the side. The whole concept of creating space travel devices that look like insects I think it's just so cool. I wish Lego would produce something along this lines currently. I think that would go over really well. And then this was during the era of the little round magnets. Those magnets were really popular in space sets. So on the sides here, both of these little guys detach via magnet and they also can extend their wings and fly around so it's a little device that has a seat and you can put your little droid in there and fly him around and then underneath is the magnet and then on the side there is the magnet so that just magnetizes to the side and stays in place which is just so cool i never expected that to be what the magnets were used for but i love that so those do both come off on either side for extra smaller travel devices i'm just i'm amazed honestly so all in all this is just like headed straight to the top of my list for a new favorite theme I could not be more obsessed now that I've seen it in person. The ones I had gotten from my brother back in the day were the little tiny sets, so I have never seen in person an insectoid set of this magnitude, and I think it is absolutely phenomenal. So if you have the opportunity, I 100% recommend getting one of these sets. This set looks like it's starting at about $65 on BrickLink which I know for a set of this size could be a little bit more expensive. It does have the light and sound unit, which, 
you know, as the years go, is going to be harder to find one that's in good working condition. So I can understand on that front as well as the unique and more rare kind of minifigures. So, like I said, I know 65 bucks for a set that is around 250 pieces is kind of on the expensive end. So, definitely keep an eye out for, you know, maybe these wing pieces or these leg pieces when you're looking at bulk lots so that perhaps you could find something like this mixed in. But if you end up finding this set or any of the sets from this series for a good price, I definitely recommend checking them out. watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.